everyone. You're on Chaka Rudy's channel. And if you stay tuned, you're going to see his daily life and his life on the road. And yep, that's right, I'm his son. And I hope you enjoy. Good morning, good morning, everybody. <coughs> I should have gotten me a cup of coffee, I think. I probably should have. But here we go. We uh, gotta do uh, three deliveries up here in Winnipeg today. Make our way down to Winnipeg and just on the outskirt of Winnipeg. We want to start making our deliveries. Yeah. They're actually building a new uh, subway, it looks like, across the street from the truck stop here. So I guess they want to get part of the business up here as well. It says opening soon. Yeah, I bet you by winter time we'll have a subway across the street here, which will be nice. I really don't care for that AMW shit. I don't know, this ain't my cup of tea. I'd much rather go to subway instead of that. And here we go the hammer down and get down to our delivery place. Hopefully they will be happy to see us. Yeah. I don't know how much we're going to be able to show you guys today. Might be a little bit of a shorter day today because I got a lot on my plate today. To the right on Highway 100 West on EB 100 West Brandon. I got to uh, make my three deliveries and then uh, I made an appointment at Thermo King to uh, get my AP unit looked at to see why it's not coming on when the batteries are lower so probably be quite busy today but as usual the GPS is trying to get me to go along the perimeter when I want to go along the perimeter it's going to take me downtown but when I want to go into town it takes me through perimeter like you don't get it I don't get it <laughs> but that's the way it goes I guess this is so called the Red River or no not Red River this is called Floodway isn't it yeah I think this is the Floodway here around when I'm like yep in 600 meters Right on Highway 100 West on E100 West Brandon. RJ, I'm going to ignore you for now, okay? I'm just going to ignore you. Yeah. Looks like a bit of a cloudy day out here today. But it was quite humid and warm there overnight, so I even uh, left my AC on. Even this morning when I got up, it was uh, actually a little bit warm. Doesn't look like it, but uh, it, it is. It's 23 Detain degrees. On this road for seven kilometers. There you go. Now you found your way. That's the way I want to go there, RJ. I got Tinker Town here to the left, where a lot of people go with their kids, and they got like a water uh, slide and all kinds of rides for the kids, you know. There you go. Let's go make our deliveries, or at least some of them. I should be back in between them, right? And see what kind of day we will have. I'm thinking I'm gonna have a good day, though. These places I deliver to, uh, they're usually pretty fast when unloading me, so that's our result of a good day. Alrighty, guys, we are done with our uh, first delivery. Now we gotta go into town. To do our other delivery and I'm gonna go move into this lane up here because I know that that right lane up there up ahead closes so that it actually exits so I'm gonna go around and run around and then around Winnipeg yeah basically they from my opinion they got it set up wrong at the other end of Winnipeg is region that is my last drop then they make me go to the south side of Winnipeg 
and then to the north, uh, more north side of the town, and then I gotta go south, or uh, not south, uh, east again. I gotta go to the east side. Well, I came in from the east, right? I came in from Toronto. See, what did I tell you guys? There's lane exits up here. I know this road. Yeah, I do. But anyways, I was gonna say I'm coming in from Toronto, right? So I'm coming into Winnipeg. So right there, that's where region is. And then I come all the way to this side of town. And then I do the one, the first delivery, and then I go that way. <laughs> I do one delivery there, and then I gotta go all the way back to uh, the east side of Winnipeg. Do my third delivery. And then our terminal is on this side of uh, Winnipeg, so I gotta come all the way back to the other side of Winnipeg. And that's where Terma King is as well, so that's where I'm going for this afternoon, so. So yeah! So we're going to go through Winnipeg a few times today. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh well, that's alright. That's alright. I'll do some running around in town here today, but... Oh well. I don't really care. Still cloudy though. Haven't seen any rain, but it's still cloudy. And we got a red light. As you guys could probably tell, but I'm just having a blast this morning. I'm happy, 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 happy. Yeah. So let's go make our second delivery and then we will be out of here to the third delivery. Well, this is probably where all this uh, movie equipment went the other day. Remember the other day we was uh, filming a lot of moving uh, movie trucks? Well, they look like they got all the advertisement up here. It looks like they're going to be shooting a film up here. Wow. Look at this. Look at Winnipeg go, you know? Want to have a movie theater or a movie <laughs> playroom in here now. Wow. That's interesting. Well, welcome to Winnipeg, here, guys. <laughs> Eta, that's good. Well, guys, we delivered our second load and we uh, took the perimeter around Winnipeg instead of going through downtown Winnipeg, guys. And uh, we are making our way slowly over to our last delivery over here on Reed. 500 meters. We gotta take right this highway 59. Highway 59. Boulevard. I don't know who can all can pronounce that, but hey. Whatever, we gotta go on 59, go over to Region and make one more drop and we are done with our deliveries. And now we're gonna go over to Thermo King and, uh, well maybe not, maybe I'll go over to the Flying J first, fill my truck up, it will take me a shower because I smell like a pig right now. Well, I don't know, quite that bad, but uh, anyways, we're smelling pretty good. And uh, not pretty good, we're smelling pretty bad actually. <laughs> Anyways, we're having fun, we're having fun today! Yeah, so let's go do our delivery and uh, we'll go get our asses washed and uh, we'll be right back. Here we go guys, we have done all of our deliveries. Yes sir, Bob! We certainly did do that. What the heck is this truck doing up here? It's gonna go come right onto the highway, eh? No problem. Alright. Well, and we are almost back to the other end of town. I'm going to go up to the uh, small, tiny Fly and J slash Shell gas station up here. I'm going to fuel up the truck. And according to RJ, it's got a shower in there. So if they do have a shower in there, I'm going to try and park the truck there on the side somewhere. And gonna go take me a shower and just a quarter of a mile down the road there or something like that or half a mile down the road there there's the uh, thermo king so after we're done with all the showering and all that good stuff I'm gonna go over to thermo king and I'm gonna go see if I can get me in there earlier no matter what you know Cause I'm done with my uh, deliveries and if I can get in there earlier and it doesn't take them very long well guess what I'm gonna be out of there yeah then that would give me enough time to go home and then uh, 
go back to Winnipeg with the wife. Other than that, if it takes a long time and or if they don't take me in early, I might just go on to the other end of Winnipeg and then my wife just might have to pick me up from over there and go over to our friend's place. But other than that, we're going to go fuel her up here. I can see the Flying J up there already. I think they do have a few parking spots in there, so I'm gonna go see if we can sneak in a spot somewhere. Yeah, well, we do have a few spots, kind of. <laughs> Here it is to the left. It looks like it's pretty full in there, though. That's alright. We'll go in there and see what we can do. Yeah. We'll see what we can do, we'll see what we can do. Here we go, that's it. Just gotta wait for all the four wheelers and traffic to come through and then uh, we'll be able to go fuel my truck up. Oh no, that truck just went in there so just have to see whereabouts I can actually fuel. Yeah, so here we go. Let's give this a shot and see what we can do. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. We are all done in Winnipeg. Yes, sir, Bob, we are. Let me just adjust the angle a little bit on this camera. Yeah. We went to uh, Thermo King. We did all our deliveries. Keep to the right on Highway 101 East. We fueled up. We had a shower. Yeah, so we are all done. Done, done, done. Now we are making our way back to Steinbach. Manitoba that is. Yes sir Bob and our APU unit is uh, in good shape. Give it a good thumbs up. And we found out, uh, which I kind of had the theory behind it anyways, but uh, um, what happened is uh, Fargo, North Dakota, Thermo King just replaced the chip never hooked up the uh, computer onto it and uh, reset the parameters and so in essence what happened is uh, the voltage uh, reader on the low side for the AP unit to kick in to start charging my batteries was set at 12.15 volt which is you know not really low but uh, the alarm system in the Volvo is uh, set for 12.4, uh, the guy said here at Thermo King here in Winnipeg. And so they usually set uh, their uh, AP units that the uh, uh, AP unit will come on when the batteries get below 12.54 volt. So that way the alarm doesn't scream all the time on the Volvo, you know. And so in essence the voltage was set at 12.15 It needed to be set at 12.54 So that's all they had to do it took him five minutes and he was done I had to wait in the, to get into the shop about an hour, but we got in five minutes later We're done and they said that they're going to build Fargo for it because they are associates or they're you know they got connections or something they're partners or something like that and so they work and then you know together or whatever so uh, they said Fargo should have done this in the first place they uh, shouldn't have just changed the chip on it so uh, they actually did this for free for me didn't cost me anything so I'm happy well, I would have been happy even if I had to pay, but as long as the system was working good, I'm happy, you know. But, uh, it was quite annoying there when I didn't have my AC on, you know, every few minutes my alarm was beeping there and uh, it was waking me up, you know. So that's uh, never a good thing for me. But uh, anyways, uh, when we uh, delivered our last load there, just across the street, there's a Best Buy up there. 
and I needed a new case for one of my cameras the case was broken so I went in there and uh, got me a new uh, a new case and I saw they had a memory card on sale so uh, they had the SanDisk Screen Plus, which is the best that Sandus makes, as far as I know, and they're really high read and write speeds. They uh, had them on sale. On this road. The 32 gigabytes were only $29.99 right now. Normally, those kind of cards are running you about 70 bucks, and so I said, Well, I'll take one. So I got me a high end card now. Happy. I got a good deal on it, got a new case, we did a lot of stuff today, now I need to hurry up and get back to Steinbach, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my trailer, holy smokes, that's a bike man, <laughs> guy with a uh, uniform as a military guy, I don't know if he really is a military guy, but <laughs> anyways, I was, as I was saying, I'm going to hurry up and get back to Steinbach and uh, drop my trailer and then I think I'm going to go over to my mechanic and see if he will take me in today and change uh, one uh, o-ring or something like that on one of the hoses there on the uh, underneath my hood there by the firewall I have an air leak on one of the hoses and we've been trying to get it fixed by cutting off the hose and put it back in and only lasts for like two days and then it's blowing again. So we need to, I think we need to change the o-ring in there and uh, my mechanic said that there is an o-ring in there that they can change. So I had asked them to uh, take me in tomorrow morning but since now I'm going to be back early enough I think uh, I should be in Steinbach there about uh, 4 o'clock. So uh, if that's the case, he's open till 5, I can quickly run in there and see if he would uh, quickly change that o-ring for me. And hopefully we'll have that finally fixed, that air hose. And uh, because next week, uh, it's safety week, uh, brake safety week they call it. But they do normal like this, just like a DOT blitz, maybe it's not to the extent of a DOT blitz, but uh, it is, they're going to be looking at brakes a lot more and air leaks and stuff like that, so I uh, kind of want to get that fixed properly, you know. Which I do like to have anyways, I like to have my, my truck in uh, good working condition. I like to be under uh, uh, safe, I like to operate safely. Speed warning. And uh, so, uh, have a look at this boat right here. Oh. No, that's not it. I, uh, I thought it was the truck with the boat that was pulling onto the uh, onto the highway there a little bit ago there, but I guess he's behind me still. I thought he was going to pass me, but he had a really nice boat. Yep. But let's get down the road and make our way home. And uh, tonight we are invited to go to Winnipeg to our friend's place, which where we're going to be leaving our son at. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll go on a short trip. Hopefully. I gotta contact dispatch yet and see what they got to say, if they got a load yet for me or not. But I'm kind of hoping that we'll be able to uh, go on a short trip tomorrow with uh, me and the wife. I am just coming into Steinbach, Manitoba. Well, I guess I am right in it right now, I guess I could say. In 100 meters, yep. turn right on Main Street, Highway 52, and then Main turn Street. right at 220 yeah, meters. Yeah, that's right. This is Main Street. That's right. Talk to dispatch already, and it sounds like because it's a long weekend. Apparently, it's a long weekend up here in Canada, too. So, because it's a long weekend, they don't have a load for me yet tomorrow, so she said it'd probably be Saturday by the time I get a load, so. Oh, nice Peterbilt. That looks nice. But anyway, so we're just going to go to the terminal here and drop our trailer. And, and I'm going to go over to uh, my mechanic and uh, 
hope for the best, keep our fingers crossed, we can get that one air leak fixed, you know. At least we can work on it, you know. Anyway, so let's go drop our trailer and then uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit later. Behind me, that day is gonna come